I'm so close. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in that parking spot there. So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You guys have been asking for this video and I decided to do it for you today. So let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't had a chance yet, I did a video similar to this for my 2018 Ram. Be sure to take a look at that one too if you like. But I wanna show you guys the clearance inside the bed. I do have this Truxedo Low Pro bed cover. I'm not coming into contact with that. I did just add these, these chains in the bed and as you see, it kinda of like got tangled there. So I gotta start checking these when I'm making these hard turns like this. But no issues so far inside the bed with this Reese Goose Box. I'm gonna step back so you guys can see the clearance. So out back as you see, I mean you can see the entire rear of the truck. And I feel as though with how I'm turned, if you need to get into a really tight spot, you should be able to get in there with a little bit of, you know, going forward and backwards. And up front, I mean, you are almost as good as it's going to get with turning with a short bed truck. Now, I did notice something that Big Truck Big RVs mentioned one time about the pin box sticking out further from where the cap ends. And my trailer actually sticks out, my pin box, excuse me, sticks out a little bit further than what my front cap does. So it gives me a little bit more clearance. And that's just something good to point out about these newer RV designs is that they give you a little bit more clearance so you don't really necessarily have to get a long bed truck. Now, don't get me wrong, you're gonna have better luck and better peace of mind with a long bed truck. But so far since I've had this truck and my previous truck I've had, I have not needed to make a 90 degree turn. And I've gotten myself into some very sticky situations. So I'm gonna take you guys on the other side so you can see how close I am to the front of the, uh, or to, of the rear of the uh, cab there. Okay, so here's the other side, as you can see, I am very, 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 very close. I would say that it's probably about a finger and a half of clearance there. And it almost looks like you can probably turn in and miss the cap, but because of how the Reese Goose Box is designed, it does have shock absorbers and it does have an airbag. So this thing does go forward and backwards. So I would, I would probably recommend if you're this close, that you do not hit the brakes hard because this thing could rock forward. That's partially how I hit my crew cab on my truck. I hit it right here. You can kind of see somewhat of a scratch on my cap. I just actually noticed that just now. But just keep that in mind if you are looking to buy a truck. This is definitely doable, but you will have a lot more peace of mind having a long bed truck because I don't have a lot of stuff in my bed. Like I don't have a toolbox or anything like that. And if I were to have one, I could potentially come into contact with this too, especially if the truck is sitting on an incline. So keep that in mind. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys up, front, up top how it looks. In the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you guys think I'm at about 85 degrees or 86 degrees or do you think it's a little bit further away from making a 90 degree turn? Cause I feel like I'm like 85 to 86 degrees. So let's go take a look. I can't tell you how many times I've been on this roof and yet I still find it really hard to do this but now taking a look this is the front of the cap here and like as you see the truck is turned about right here now this would obviously be a 90 degree turn right here so what do you guys think I'm at right there do you think I'm at about 85 86 degrees or you think I'm a little bit further away leave it in the bottom of the comment section there for me but again Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Man, I looked at my analytics, I believe it was probably about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. I think I was at like 760 subscribers. Man, I appreciate everyone that has taken the time to go in there and subscribe to my channel. And to all the guys that have been here since day one, I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have brought my channel. And I cannot wait to show you guys more videos on this truck. 
I am hoping that I will do a walk around video on this truck. I thought I did one, but I just did an unveiling showing you guys the truck that I bought. But I never really showed you guys the window sticker. I haven't shown you the payload on the door yet, and I'm not gonna do it in this video because I'm not gonna spoil it. But again, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.